Hydropower. Hydropower, or hydroelectricity, refers to the conversion of energy from flowing water into electricity. It is considered a renewable energy source because the water cycle is constantly renewed by the sun. One of the first uses of hydroenergy was for mechanical milling, such as grinding grains. But today, modern hydro plants produce electricity using turbines and generators. The mechanical energy created by moving water spins rotors on a turbine. This turbine is connected to an electromagnetic generator which produces electricity when the turbine spins. There are two main types of hydroelectricity production, dams and run of river. Hydro dams utilize the potential energy from dammed water to produce electricity. A dam is a large barrier constructed to raise the level of water and control its flow. The elevation created by the dam creates gravitational force for turning the turbine when water is released. Some dams also contain an additional reservoir at their base where water is stored to be pumped to the higher reservoir for release when electricity is in demand. This is referred to as pumped storage hydro. The second form of hydroelectricity production is run of river hydro. Run of river still uses turbines and generators, but relies on natural water flow rates of rivers, diverting just a portion of the water through turbines. Because run of river hydro is subject to natural water variability, it is more intermittent than dammed hydro. There are various sizes of hydro plants that produce electricity. Large hydro, greater than 30 megawatts, small hydro, 100 kilowatts to 30 megawatts, and micro hydro, less than 100 kilowatts. The Hoover Dam in the United States is a whopping 2,074 megawatts, which is enough to serve 1.3 million people. Of all renewable energy sources, hydropower holds the largest share of worldwide electricity production. Hydropower has several benefits. It is a cost competitive form of electricity, even though the initial building cost can be high. It is quite reliable compared to other renewable options and pairs well with other sources as it can be used as base load power. In some cases, dammed reservoirs can also help with flood control and be a reliable water supply for communities. There are also some concerns with hydropower, especially when it comes to large dams. Damming a river has a major impact on the local environment, changing wildlife habitats, blocking fish passage, and often forcing people in riverside communities to move out of their homes. In addition, dam failures can be catastrophic, claiming the lives of those living downstream. Hydro plants are also not completely free of greenhouse gas emissions. As with most forms of energy, carbon dioxide emissions happen during construction, particularly due to the large quantities of cement used, and plant matter in the flooded areas makes methane, another greenhouse gas, as it decays underwater. That's hydropower. Hydroelectric Power Plant In this session, we will study about hydro energy, review the history of hydroelectric power plant, study the working principle of hydroelectric power plant, and specify the advantages and disadvantages of hydroelectric power plant. Hydro energy Hydroenergy is the energy generated by the force of water. This is a powerful way of generating electricity. The hydroenergy is converted into electric energy by hydroelectric power plant. And this energy is called as hydroelectricity. History of hydroelectric power plants World's first hydroelectric power plant was built across the Fox River in Appleton, Wisconsin in U.S. in the year 1882. India's first hydroelectric power plant was commissioned in 1887 at Sidrapong, Darjeeling in West Bengal. India's largest hydroelectric power plant is located across the river Koina in Maharashtra. It has a capacity of producing 1920 megawatt electricity. Bhakranangal is the biggest dam in India as well as the world's highest straight gravity dam. 
the working principle of hydroelectric power plant. In this power plant, production of electricity depends upon the height of the water from ground level, volume of the water flowing per unit time and efficiency of the turbines. Hydroelectric power plant requires a water reservoir. So these plants are constructed near big dams. Water stored in dams has potential energy. The water under pressure is carried by penstock and supplied to the turbine through the inlet valve. Penstock is a pipe made up of steel or concrete. A surge tank reduces the excessive water force on the penstock. Here, trash rack prevents the debris from getting entry into the powerhouse. Due to the force of water, the turbine starts rotating, due to which mechanical energy is produced. The shaft from the turbine is connected to the generator. Therefore, the generator produces the electricity. The voltage of this electricity is raised by using a transformer and is transferred by the distribution lines. After running the turbine, the water is passed to the downstream water level by draft tube. The demand of electricity varies by day and night as well as among the seasons. Hence, there is a need to store the energy so that it can be used at the time of high electricity demand. This can be done by using pump storage process. Advantages and Disadvantages of Hydroelectric Power Plant The most important advantage is that it keeps the environment clean. Hydro energy can be stored in high-level reservoirs and used whenever necessary. Electricity is produced at a constant rate. The life of dams and power plants lasts for many decades. The water can be used for supplying drinking water, irrigation, water sports, industries, power plants, etc. Another advantage is that when electricity is not needed, then the sluice gate is closed to stop the generation of electricity. It also allows storage of water to be used whenever necessary. However, the disadvantage is that constructing hydroelectric power plants and dams is very expensive. It requires large area. Another disadvantage is that planning a hydroelectric plant and reservoir may lead to the disruption of the lives of people living in